Junior Junkies. Happy to be at Superboost. Happy to meet you. We have uh, some new stuff with Shackmat, so maybe a few words about uh, what we're doing with Shackmat. Uh, so we have um, very performance-oriented models. Uh, we're quite well known at the beginning to do sequencing models very hands-on with very uh, features-oriented for live applications. Uh, and we come this year with four new models which are over there. So we get the Banshee Reach, which is an analog VCO. We get the Jewel Cast, which is a cross-fader with folder ring modulator. We got a prototype so fresh we don't have a name for it, so we will call it the VCF VCA LPG prototype. And then we got a triple envelope, which is called the triple steeple. So let's go with the VCO to start. So the VCO is a fully analog VCO. It got several features. First feature is it has a very shape output. Very shape can go from sine to triangle to so to square. You can also crossfade this waveform with a sub. That can be minus one octave, minus two octave, or minus two octave with a quarter phase. This model also has a normalization with the CV input, where the triangle is going to the CV input, which allows to generate like more subtle harmonics in a sign, which is very useful with the next feature, because this model has a true zero linear FM, more PM feature. So let's take another VCO and send it to the fast modulation over here. two signs. And with the CV normalization running subtly some harmonics. So now you got two VCO, you want to mix them. So let's mix them together and we got this crossfader model which allows to crossfade between two sources and a ring modulator. So you get kind of dry wet on a ring modulator. And in cascade with this, we get a wave folder. So meaning now you have two signs. And we can crossfade between the source and the, and the ring modulator. So you can achieve very easily some FM glassy tone with this. And now we have this. We have what's missing for an analog voice meaning uh, VCF, VCA, LPG. So it's a fully analog model. You have to imagine this as a different analog blocks which can be completely, the architectures can completely change because the CPU is changing the architecture. So let's go and try what's happening there. So we could say it's a dual multi-type gate. So you had like a quad multi-mode gate. It's a gate in the, the sense of a VCF, a VCA, an LPG. So you have eight different modes. Uh, the different types of modes are um, uh, four, uh, let's say, gentle modes, which are the green mode. You got the LPF filter. What do we have over there? Let's take a more. Let's take a square wave. And let's add some feedback and resonance. And you have this bubbly filter. You can also, yeah, I'm muting it because right now it's a bit not clickless, but it will be clickless at the end. A band pass, a high pass, or LPG. And talking of the LPG, you get an analog optical simulation of a Vactrol. So you can ping and have the same kind of response as a Vactrol. Uh, you have the second family, which are the MS20 style filter. Low pass, band pass, high pass, and the last option is a VCA, very clean VCA. So let's go back to a sine wave with a parallel distortion. You have two identical channels. You can control the mode by CV. You can link the channels, choose if you want an attenuator or an attenuator on the CV control, and you get a serial parallel option. So with those three models, we want to create a very polyvalent subsystem where you can go from a very west coast patch to a very east coast patch with a few knob turns and so on. So what I see is the models are very performance oriented. It's everything is based also on crossfade, meaning you would just have to deal with one knob to just change the, the waveform and you don't need to have to deal with a mixer which can go with a very high gain to attack the filters and so on. So another feature we added in the VCO which is very performance oriented is you're playing, everything is going and doing your life and then the accidents happen. You just turn the course knob. So everything is in tune and your life is completely wasted. So we added a small feature which is an octave feature. And the octave feature means you're locking the course and find them and the course knob is becoming 
an octave generator. So meaning you won't again turn that knob by accident in concert. You can even store the tuning in studio and go back on stage with lighting up your modular system and with the tuning frozen at this precise frequency. Um, so we have also this year a triple steeple, which is a triple envelope, a very rich, simple triple envelope. So we can do some cool stuff. So let me reset it. Yeah. So it's three channels, time and symmetry. So again, it's the idea to have only one knob to control a decay or to have a looped envelope or an LFO. You can have it trig, gated loop, gated loop, so only active when the gate is high. And the last option is a clocked loop. You can also choose between a linear and exponential response. And you can also have a CV control upon uh, CV. You have also an option of having the different end of sending to the next channels. And the last output is taking a normalized version of the maximum of the three channels. So meaning the last output can provide very complex modulation forms. Uh, last thing is have an assignable CV, which can be assigned to symmetry, so symmetry, amplitude, or an accent mode, which like we give a punch at the envelope every time you receive a gate when the envelope is fired. So with this, all this system again, we created like a complex analog voice, which can lead to very uh, nice results and polyvalent results due to the fact we have different filters, different approach of the analog VCO and so on. So I guess it's. That for the new stuff from Superboost. So happy to meet you, Gears and Keys, and see you next time. Bye bye.